So for this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to remove our background from our image, which has hair. Get yourself the image by left clicking and dragging it into Photoshop. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. So you want to hold alt and use the scroll wheel to go down. If you can't do it this way, you can go to the zoom tool, which is right here, and then just zoom out if you hold alt and then click on the screen. Or you can right click and then fit to screen or zoom out. Next, what you want to do is you want to left click on the lock and then you want to press Ctrl J to get yourself a duplication of that layer. The one underneath it, you want to hide it and you want to click on layer zero. Go ahead and get yourself a solid color. Pray to red. It can be any other color you wanted to, but keep in mind that this is the color that you're going to be working with. All right, so to get to the tool, you want to go to the eraser tool, which is right here. It's near the middle or you can press E on your keyboard, to right click on here, and then it will be background eraser tool. So the way that this works is since we've got our layer zero on top, we are gonna be working with the layer underneath it. The first option you want to change is this one right here. So you want to click on the sampling background swatch. Once you've got this one selected, you want to go ahead and open up the settings for it. Once you've got the settings open, you want to set the size on 80 pixels have it on 80% hardness and 1% spacing. Next, what you want to do is you want to go where it says limits and change this to discontiguous from contiguous. Now, the next one is very important and this is tolerance. Let's say you have a lot of light colors, example right here at the top, then you would want to have it on a low number, but if you have darker colors, you'd want to put it above 50. But normally 50% is okay to use for both of them. Or you can always go to 40 and that will give you a little bit nicer result. And the very last option is you must take this one right here that says protect foreground color. All you got to do now is actually start using it. Going to go down here to the colors and set the main color to red. Here's where it gets a little bit confusing. The color on the bottom will determine whether the colors which it's removing is light or dark. So I'd recommend to stick with black and white because it's a lot easier to work around. As you can see from my image, the top bit is light. So we will need a white color underneath it and the red on the top. We can adjust the size of the brush by using the square bracket on our keyboard to make it bigger. And we're just gonna put it to 125, let's say. You want to make sure that you are on the top layer and not on the bottom one. And we're gonna start off here where the light colors are and then do the bottom bit, which are dark colors. You just want to work your way around the hair. What you want to do now is you want to either press X on your keyboard or click on this to swap over the colors and then change this one to a black color. Once you've changed it, you then want to swap it over again and do the rest of this image. So as you can see, now we can actually move on to this bit. If you're struggling to pick up the color, you can always adjust the tolerance and you can mess about with it until you get it right. So for example, if I show you what it would look like if it was doubled, so let's put it to 80%. You will see it does a lot more destruction and that's what we don't want. So 40% for us right now at the moment is perfect and just work your way around it like so. If you need to, you can always zoom in by holding Alt, scroll wheel up and you can do Control, Alt and Z to undo. We're gonna move on to the other side as well. As you can see at the start, it struggled to pick up that color. So we're just going to increase the tolerance by 10% and it will do it a lot better this time. It's still there, but at the moment it's okay because we'll remove that a little bit later on. Pretty much you just want to keep on changing the color and then changing the tolerance. And depending on your image, 
you will eventually get it. As you can see, we've still got a little bit here, but we've still got the hair as well. We're also going to remove this other bit here. So if we get a sample of that one, it's like a pinkish color. Remove that one. Now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and get ourselves the polygonal lasso tool, which is right here. So the third tool down, right click on it in the middle one, and then go around this red bit here. And then press delete. If you wanted to, you can even use the eraser tool. So if you right click here, go to the razor tool and then just remove the bits from here. You can even set this back to normal. So 100% hardness and then just go around it like so. As you can see so far, we've removed the background, but we still have this white line around it. To get rid of it, you can sometimes use the tool right here. So that's the magic eraser tool. And this will automatically delete bits like this. And this can be great sometimes, it's really quick, saves time, but not all the time it will be able to do it properly. For example, if we do it here, it will do this. So you can use it in certain areas, just not all of them. I would definitely say dark colors is a lot easier for it to work. So as you can see around here, bits like here, as long as you don't click on the wrong bit. You want to hold control and left click on the image icon. If you don't have a thumbnail for delay, you can right click on the left side here and then get yourself a thumbnail. What we want to do now is we want to invert it so we get the outside bit. You want to hold control, shift and I and this will invert our selection. Now that you've done that, we're going to go back to the eraser tool, click on the top one, get yourself a feather. So if you put the hardness to zero and then just fix up the bits that aren't done properly. You can change the size of it, make it smaller. Just go around it, remove bits you don't want. You can even erase the bits inside the hair right here. And then the edges. And that will do. We then want to press Ctrl D to deselect. And now we're going to fix up some of the other areas. One of them was down here. So if we just go down here, get ourselves 100% hardness and change the size to be smaller. The first square bracket. We're also going to do the other side. And so far it's looking quite good. We're going to do the same technique one more time. So if you go to the background eraser tool, get yourself a black color. And then swap it back to the red. We're going to go back to here. And this time we're going to have it on 80% tolerance. And then just go back to this area right here. And as you can see, we're slowly removing the color which was there before, but keeping the hair in place. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to get myself another solid color and change this one to black and then put it underneath. And this makes it a lot easier for us to see what we've done so far. If you wanted to preview it without no background, you can just toggle these off and on. And that's what it would look like without the background. The next thing that we can do is let's say your image had a little bit of a red tint to it. So as you can see from here, this is from the original image and we've got a little bit of redness right here. To fix up this red area right here, we're going to go to select, go down to color range. And then in here, you can either get your own sample of the color or you can select one that's closest to it. Once you've done that, you then go ahead and press OK. And most of the time, you won't be able to see much of a difference. But as you can see, it has picked up the redness over here, around here. So we've still got our selection. And all you got to do now is go to the eraser tool. So we're just going to do this bit here.
and there we go you want to press ctrl d to deselect and the very last thing you can do is go up to filter go down to sharpness and give this image sharpen effect and that is pretty much it if you wanted to you can even hold ctrl click on the image thumbnail go to the second tool and then get yourself a select and mask in here you can get the view option right here let's view it on black show original and then you can adjust the settings right here if yours let's say the edges are a little bit too rough you can add a new background if you wanted to so if you left click drag this into our work area hold shift and drag the corners out to maintain aspect ratio you then want to make sure this one's underneath and then let's just give this one a Gaussian blur let's put it on 16 and yeah that looks pretty good you can see from the hair we did a really good job it looks like it's actually that background and we are pretty much done if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up leave a comment on what you thought of it subscribe if you're new and if you'd like to see some of my other videos you can always click on my channel have a look through them i'll probably put some on the video screen as well and yeah i will see you all in my next video bye